Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm back to doing my what's sold videos in the way that I normally do them. Majority of people were supportive but preferred this way of doing the videos so we had recorded the whole week but I'm just going to go ahead and come back and do the videos this way. So this is my what's sold video for last week Monday through Thursday the 25th through the 28th. Not sure if there'll be any overlap at all. Not quite sure. I don't think so, but just in case, if something seems like it's a duplicate, it probably is. Um, but, you know, I wanted to try something different and see how it went. And, you know, you win some, you lose some. I personally realized that it was a lot of more work and... Um, more work for Robert in the editing process and you know right now you know we've mentioned this before um, Robert's going to be doing a whole bunch of back and forth to Missouri he's leaving next week after our homeschool co-op ends um, to spend a week with his mom because she's currently undergoing cancer treatment so y'all if you're the praying type please pray for her because and and the family because everybody's in shock right now just absolute shock and y'all know I love her to death so please pray let's see what else y'all I cleaned down here Saturday I just decided I was tired of the paths I know you guys can relate tired of the paths tired of stuff just piling up so everything got cleaned it's the floor is clean I've got just like my Ikea bags are on the floor, and I've got the stuff that I'm going to be donating. Um, but otherwise, yeah, much, much nicer, you know, calmness of having an organized space. Will it last? Probably not, but... All right, and then y'all, one more thing. I messed up this week. Messed up royally. I don't know how it happened. But I went to start my sale on Monday morning. You know, I set a sale. It's always on on my store. I do a 10% sale Monday through Thursday, and then I do another one for the weekend. And somehow, I set a 30% sale. And y'all, you can't end a sale. Now, you, what I did was I, you have to let a sale run for 24 hours. So I, I was able to edit the, the end time back so that it ended on at 24 hours and sold a bunch sold a bunch well 30 something but it was for over seven hundred dollars so it was a profitable I guess mistake and I did get rid of some of my older stuff but it, it went all against my sensibilities to see stuff that I had recently sold go out for 30 percent so yeah lesson learned double check triple check your you know your screen before you hit that submit button because there's no undoing a sale so but that'll be in another video i'll be sharing all of that so all right let's get going no mercari sales i've not had a mercari sale since the middle of march so i did something this weekend I started up Etsy again. I've reactivated about 60 listings so far. You know, I just like knowing that I have multiple platforms that I can sell stuff on. Do I sell a lot on there? No, but I've got multiple eyes and I just decided, you know, when I do make a sale on Etsy, it is for higher dollar stuff. So, you know, I'm just putting stuff on there that's like 40-ish and up. Um, but I have like 500 listings on there. A lot of them I am taking off. It's just, you know, I've got to decide. It, it hadn't sold before. Um, and then I'm going to start putting some of my newer vintage. Not newer, but you know what I mean. More things that I've listed recently that are higher dollar vintage on there also. So I haven't sold anything yet on there. But nothing on Mercari. It's very frustrating with all the changes that Mercari did. Why can't they just fix their shipping? Just fix the shipping. You would be a much better platform. So I have 
four things to share with you from Poshmark and then even Poshmark has flopped on me which was another reason I've only sold one thing since these which this would have been through the end of last month so don't know what's up but I sold this play school bear time tray puzzle for ten dollars on posh this Gund Mutsy Golden Retriever Dog Plush sold for $38, so that was a good sale. These Eric Javits Women's Sandals, starting to sell sandals and shorts and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, these sold for $29. And this Brown Rabbit Scented Chocolate Bunny sold for $28. So, some good sales on Poshmark. I still haven't been cross-listing regularly. I told myself I was going to start this month. It's only the third, so I'm not too late yet. Not too late, but I am going to get started. Poshmark and Etsy. I give up. All right, first thing to share on eBay. If you're new to my channel, I don't do free shipping on eBay, so when I say something sold for $7, the buyer also paid shipping. Just got to put that out there. Y'all, also, if you're liking this content, um, please, you know, give me a thumbs up, sit, leave a comment. It just kind of helps in the YouTube algorithm. All right, so this Coles Cares, Curious George Plush. I like Coles Cares. I pick up a lot of them. This one sold for $7. All right, Robert picked this up at the bins, I'm pretty sure. Um, hadn't been listed very long. I went ahead and accepted a $17 or, um, offer. It did have, you know, some corrosion and stuff. So I was good with something that we picked up at the bins. This usually comes in like a set of two. Like this was the multiplication. It also probably came with the division little wrap up. Um, this was a bins pickup. Um, listed it. It was from my profit piles and I'm, I'm determined to get most things, you know, I spent the money, I've got the items, even if it's five bucks, I'm going to go ahead and list it, and it sold for $5.36. Very quickly, though. Build-A-Bear, St. Louis Cardinals, of course, I'm sure that would have been picked up at the outlet in St. Louis on one of our recent trips. Listed it in January, and it sold for $10.49. Rainbow Fish Finger Puppet, I, there was a time I used to find there's a larger version plush of this and then the finger puppets. Um, but this is the first one I found in quite a while. Um, it is from 1996 and just the finger puppets sold for $13.45. All right, Spark Create Imagine is I'm a little bit more particular. There was a point where I used to pick up quite a bit of it, but definitely these dogs. There are several. There's this gray one. There's a, a like a yellow one that's like Labrador or Golden Retriever. There's one that's a Rottweiler. I do really well and they sell quickly for me. This one sold for $13.45. Sleeping Beauty Lithograph Set. It was a set of like four lithographs and it sold for $10. It did take a while. It was larger. So it was flat so a lot of times when we ship these flat type things we just take a box and leave it flat and stick it in there all right this i think this actually was my best sell of the weekend or the week robert picked this up we were standing in line at a yard sale no at a it was a yard sale but it was like a multi-family and get ready to check out i think i had found a couple of little things um and there was a game table, video game table, computer games. And this was for a dollar. And when we opened it up, the, the game itself, the disc, was still sealed in the original packaging. Um, the box had issues. And I just went ahead and listed it really high based on comps. And I got an offer of $70 for it. So nice, nice when you can go from $1 to $70. All right. Kenner Real Ghostbusters. This was from my uh, profit pile that I've been processing a ton of smalls, y'all. Smalls, 
usually are bread and butter for me. I have found some treasures amidst all of it that I wasn't aware. Google Lens has definitely been my friend. And this was just a little accessory and it sold for $8. Disney Lion King Baby Simba plush sold for $8.96. Disney Toy Story Buzz and Woody plush dolls sold for $14. I've sold several sets of this already. This is Interpur Stainless Florins Pattern. Um, picked it up at a yard sale or an estate sale, probably for like five bucks. They had some discoloration that, you know, I guess with a little bit of... Um, cleaning would come off. It was kind of like I had nine of this and eight of that and four of something else. So I just decided to put all of the like items together. So all the tablespoons together, there was nine of these and I took a best offer of $20 for them. I think the other ones that I sold were like $26 each set. So I've made quite a bit on this already. Picked this up at a yard sale. Pretty sure I paid like $3 for it. It was a Nordic Ware Easter Bunny cake pan. Remember, if you're buying um, cake pans and it's that little round tube with the post in the center, don't use the word bunt unless it's Nordic Ware. Guess how I know? Because I got a Vero. So um, just be careful with bunt pans. Just use tube or round or something. I don't remember the words I've used in the past. Um, but it sold for $17.95. Mikasa California Currants. Picked this up at a churchyard sale. I remember that part, but I don't remember how much. They have sat forever. I think I've sold like the mugs or something that went to this set, but I hadn't sold any of these other things. These were salad plates, and I sold four of them for $39.44. And I'm hoping sometimes when you just sell one thing like this, like the dishes, you know, over the next few weeks, I'll get a few more sales for it. It's just kind of how it happens sometimes. Spark Create Imagine, again, this is an Elephant Rattle Plush, sold for $8.96. Littlest Pet Shop. Anytime you find Littlest Pet Shop, make sure you double check um, the cats and the dogs. A lot of times I sell them individually and then I'll lot up the rest. Um, but this little orange cat, using Google Lens, helped me get the correct number. Had a little bit of condition issues. Probably could have gone a little bit more if I hadn't had that like pink stain on the front and there was a flaw on the ear. Um, but it sold very quickly for $13.45. Carter's Lovies, y'all. I pick up most as long as they're in good condition. And this one sold for $11.66. Cookbooks, we were at a yard sale last year. And I want to say the cookbooks were either a dollar each or two dollars each. Can't remember. But Robert ended up buying like six of them and then they sat. Um, and I realized clearing off my shelves because that's what I'm doing right now that these three were like Mennonite and Amish cookbooks. Decided to go ahead and put them together. Um, just listed them this month and they sold very quickly for $26.95. Vintage Girl Scouts Brownie Dress sold for $13.21. I'm thinking that was a Ben's pickup, but I don't remember. And it, it had some serious flaws and holes. So I'm glad that it sold. Y'all, lovies. You know, I talk about them a lot, just like with the Carters. Um, most of them bread and butter, but I have examples like this. This is Bean Sprout. Monkey Plush Lovey sold for $38. Yeah. We don't normally pick up kids' clothes, but probably got this at the bins. 
Um, it was Arkansas Razorbacks toddler jacket size 3T sold very quickly for $15.25. Wranglers. Oh, we can pick up Wranglers tons for a dollar or so, dollar or two at yard sales, fill a bags at thrift stores. Um, and they sell for us. These were some men's jeans, larger size, which helps sold for $15 and one cent. Schleich Rhino figure again from my prof. I had a huge tote of animals and I pulled out the Schleichs and some of the others that were just seemed to be nicer quality and then just lotted up the rest. Um, this one sold for $8 and 87 cents. Build a bear, um, cow, bull, plush. There's a, another one that looks very similar to this, but has longer um, horns. That one sells for a whole lot more, by the way. Um, but this one sold very quickly for us for $12.78. It was a Ben's pickup. And when I say it's a Ben's pickup, we pay $1.89 a pound. So you can kind of judge how much I paid for that because it was probably maybe a half a pound. So 90 cents. All right, went through my brass tote, got it all listed. Y'all, I have said for over a year that I needed to finish up the brass, and I finally did. It was a lot of work. But these brass candlesticks with the little finger hole sold for $23.70. Fisher Price Little People, I pick up lots. A lot of time, um, I will list like the wood body plastic heads together, the wood body, the wood heads together, and then the plastic, complete plastic together. This one had lots of flaws, so I think it was more of a flawed um, lot, and it sold for $17.95. Homeschool curriculum, it sells all year for us, um, but right now is the time. Parents are starting to look for next year's curriculum, and uh, we've sold almost all of ours that we had. Robert bought a huge tote for like $40 during the summer. It's almost empty. I've sold almost all of it for a lot of profit. Um, these are a Becca. I find a Becca a lot, Bob Jones University. We used Apologias, so a lot of times that's mine that we're selling. Um, but there's definitely a lot of curriculum, so keep your eyes out. A lot of times these are thrown in the bins at um, the outlets, and most people don't know that they're homeschool curriculum, and they just don't even pick them up. But this set um, sold for $55. Thomas the Train. I do really well with it, especially the wooden stuff. Y'all, this one had lots of condition issues. Um, it is bolstered the boat and tugboat, and he sold for sixteen dollars and sixteen cents. Six Flags. I picked up a bunch of Six Flags. A lot of it was probably something I should have left behind, but you know, you don't know until you've tried. Will I continue to pick up? Maybe, but I'll definitely check the comps before I do. Um, but this was a Bugs Bunny from 2019, and it sold for $16.15 in less than a month. Polly Pocket Compacts. I picked this up at a toy consignment sale. I don't even know if you guys have seen that footage yet on the picking channel. I want to say I paid $4. It was sealed, but come to find out there were no figures with it other than a contemporary one, which I'm, I listed separate. And these two compacts sold for $23 almost immediately after I listed them. Fraggle Rock. These McDonald's figures, somehow I ended up with a bunch. And I had like five lots, I want to say. And I've sold three of them just like that. Just kind of weird because they've been listed since the middle of last year. Like I said, sometimes you sell one of something and then others sell. Um, this set sold for ten dollars so definitely keep your eyes i see these quite often pat the bunny um listed this and it sold very quickly this was a 14 inch there's smaller versions a lot of times they came in like gift sets with 
the book, um, which, you know, I'm going to look for books this year. So to hopefully be able to put a plush in a book together, especially the Coles Cares. Um, but this one sold very quickly, $17.95. California Stuffed Animals, y'all. I love the vintage plush. You know, I'm probably pick up most that I find. is trying to say just say no to the bears, though. But, you know, I like the Dakin, the Animal Fair, the applause, the Russ. So, but I'm going to be more picky with some of the other brands, and especially if there's no tag. That one, those are the hard ones to sell. But this was a Siamese cat. Had just the vivid blue eyes. It was made in Japan. It had some condition issues, and it sold for $26.95. Baby Gun Fluffy, and no, that's not a mistype. That is how it was spelled on the tag. Pink Dog. I usually, if I can, if the tag has a number, especially with Gund, um, I'll put that number on there. Because um, a lot of times there's different sizes, and a parent may be looking for a specific size. Um, so it's just another way to make sure they're getting the right thing. Um, sold very, very quickly for $23.05. High bit estate sale. Three years ago, we bought a ton of advertising plush and merchandise. Um, at an, it was an online sale. I've not been able to find another one worth the time and effort and the drive and everything. But that was such a, an amazing find. And we made video after video after video because it was like filled our trailer two thirds full of just advertising stuff. Um, it was it was so much fun. And I've still I've probably got about four or five laundry baskets remaining of that stuff. And like yesterday, I started going through another huge box of the smalls a lot of that was like mcdonald's toys and hardy's and taco bell and because it was just a lot of that kind of stuff but there was a lot of pharmaceutical uh plush and coffee cups and just gadgets and stuff um it was such an amazing find but three years ago if you want to go back and look at some of the video footage of the haul um this was uh, Tussie 12, I think that's a cough syrup, right? Um, sold for $15.25. All right, Marvel Entertainment cloth baby dolls. This was from the bins. There was a bunch in one of the bins, and I picked out quite a few of them and then just made these small lots. Um, this lot sold for $8.38. This is a viewer sale, so thank you so much, Sherry. Sherry bought these Clark's black ankle boots for $17.95, y'all. We do very, very well with Clark's. I've got another one to share with you also, so thanks again, Sherry. White Rabbit Plush. No label. Wasn't able to identify. Um, it, it was an old listing. Finally sold, though, for $11.66. Lee, again, we sell a lot of Lee women's jeans. These were black, um, and they sold for $12.31. Now, this rabbit is harder to find. It is from Ikea. This is the first one I have ever found. Definitely put this in your memory banks to keep an eye out for. It sold for $35.95, and it's been listed since January. Play School touch -ems. There's a whole series of these. Um, kind of, you know, rattles and books and textured stuff. Um, that's why they're called touch -ems. These had some condition issues. Um, I I had listed, one, one of them was listed. When I found the other one, I took the listing down, relisted it as a lot, and they sold for $10. Small appliances, y'all. Uh, this, probably this month, I'm really going to focus on a lot of the small appliances that we have stashed and stored. They're on my shelves, they're upstairs, and we sell the parts. 
we do really well with them so definitely keep your eyes out for some of the vintage um, appliances because people have them they lose a part they break apart and they go to eBay to look for them this was a Hamilton Beach food processor the model was 702R this was just the little stem shaft that held the blades sold uh, same month I listed it, $17.95. Kelly Toy Pink Rabbit 2019 sold for $17.95. BKE Women's Jeans, these were the Stella style. Um, for some reason, these took, we usually do really well with BKE, but this one took over a year to sell, $23.11. Terry cloth plush. I'll pick up most of them as long as they are not like terribly stained and sometimes I might pick them up too and try to save them. Um, but I've done really well. This is a brand called Pansy. Never heard of it. Um, but this plush was from 1991. Just a cute little, I call them grabbers. You know, a baby can hold on to them. And it sold for $17.56. Joanne Fabrics, I guess they put out a series every year of these bears. This one was from 2018, and it sold for $13.45. Now, these are stiff. Not all stiff are worth, you know, a lot of money. These were more contemporary. Found them at the bins. Um, still had their little ear tags. There were two different sizes. Um, not worth a whole lot individually, so I thought I might do better lotting them together. And they sold in less than two months for $35. Another pair of Clarks. This was patent leather loafers, and they sold for $20.20. Coffee mugs. We sell quite a bit of them. Um, this one was interesting because it's half a coffee cup, literally halved and it sold for eight dollars and five cents Dakin love the brand love it tan dog plush from 1990 um been listed a while sold for twenty three dollars and thirty five cents all right last two I didn't put the best at the end this time um so it's just two um this is Oda Geary I thought these would do better I bought them at a thrift store, probably paid a dollar each. I think I ended up buying like three or four different sets um, that were Christmas themed, but different colors. And they've taken forever to sell. These two finally sold $11.66. I like Odegiri, but I think I'll stick with like the cups that, uh, you know, are... Uh, a lot of times they're embossed or something like that. Flowers, stackers, stuff like that. I like to pick up those coffee mugs, but these just took forever. And last item. This has been listed a long time. It's The title says Hard Plastic Orange Ball. Six inch diameter. Somebody sent me a ball. Is it hard or is it squeezable? I just thought that was funny. It says hard plastic. Um, so it finally sold though, $9 and 33 cents. All right, back to the old way. I prefer it this way too, y'all, just to be honest. Um, it's a whole lot easier for me, but you guys don't get Robert in a lot of these, you know, with his, his comedy, his, his attempts to make me smile or give him the look, but we had fun trying to do something different and you know, we may do that once in a while again. Um, and we're going to try to start, you know, maybe monthly doing the ship with me type videos also to show you guys how we're shipping a lot of the stuff that we sell. Because I know a lot of people struggle with, you know, what's the best way to ship stuff. Um, so just things to keep adding to the to the repertoire, right? All right, y'all. Time to get to work. Bye.